Sister Wives' latest update, fans are outraged by Robin Brown's lifestyle, particularly her extravagant and tacky home decor choices. As the family's Flagstaff home hits the market, viewers slam her for spending lavishly on gaudy art and questionable design decisions. The criticism highlights how Robin's taste and spending habits clash with the more modest lifestyles of the other wives, sparking disgust among fans who believe she's living beyond her means. This backlash fuels speculation about the future of the long-running series, Sister Wives fans disgusted by how Robin Brown lives. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Recently, Sister Wives fans got a chance to see the curtain pulled back and view how Cody and Robin Brown live. While some people believe the signs are pointing to the end of the long-running series, others are disgusted by how Robin chooses to live. Sister Wives fans see startling living. Undeniably, Sister Wives has had a good run, with 18 seasons under their belt and now a 19th season about to begin, they have outlasted many shows. But has the show run its course? Seemingly, there are clues that the show may be on its way out. After seeing the previews for season 19, many are convinced this is the grand finale leading up to Garrison Brown's death. However, in the present day, fans get a glimpse into the lives of Cody and Robin Brown and are disgusted by their lives. Fans disgusted by how Robin Brown lives. Recently, it came to the attention of Sister Wives viewers that Cody and Robin Brown's large home in Flagstaff, Arizona is on the market. On Reddit, one user brings up how disgusting they think Cody and Robin's house is behind the scenes. After seeing the listing, many people can't believe the horrendous style choices Robin has chosen. Likewise, they spot many areas of the home that have been neglected over time. At first, a person says, this may actually be the ugliest bedroom I've ever seen. While being awestruck in the worst way, the person adds, when you have a 1.6 milli house, but don't realize the value of an interior designer. Undoubtedly, style and design are subjective topics, but after the first opinion was raised, many other viewers jumped in on the conversation of Robin's taste. Any decent realtor will tell a client to depersonalize and neutralize the space so buyers can see themselves living in it. Somebody dropped the ball. Somebody probably decided to do it themselves because they thought they knew better and didn't listen to the agent. Bad. It is hideous. I can look at a style that is not my taste and see that it is done well. This is god awful. I've never seen anything like it. So stupid. <laughs> yup, the realtor probably begged them to take one half the horde of beanie babies out. And the precious moments. Where are all the beautiful precious moments figurines slash s. I was gonna say this is the declutter version. Fans blast her interior design. Once the listing was made public, Cody and Robin Brown's home has had thousands of views. But Sister Wives fans know they are a big contributor to the traffic on the page. The placement of every picture they can squeeze in somewhere on the wall is just hideous. I hope these two have drawn enough attention to themselves to face some financial consequences as to the amount of money they have frivolously spent. That wasn't even their money. They should be embarrassed of themselves. Cody is so vain. He wants the world to see his wealth, with all those paints and expensive sculptures. Purple was a bad choice. Unmistakably, Sister Wives viewers are not on board with Robin Brown's favorite color, purple. Many people think the purple was a bad choice. I literally 100% without any exaggeration, thought it was screenshots of photos from the set of the Schrader house in Breaking Bad when I first scrolled past it on Reddit. It's almost identical. Another person agrees, OMG, Marie's purple. Dying. I find it hilarious that their color palette is royal purple to go with their, her king, his queen, mentality. <laughs> the place looks like a de asterisk and brothel. My biggest question, if this is the purple room and it supposedly is Robin's room, does Chodwai sleep in the brown room that actually has the connected master bath? Do they somehow sleep in separate rooms? I wonder how many grimaces they had to skin for that carpet. Robin Brown's plan backfires. Although the artwork and statues suggest that Cody and Robin Brown want to flaunt their riches, many people think she missed the mark. 
Furthermore, they think the design, color, and sheer fact she adds too much to the space cheapens the look. Someone hesitantly confesses, I have to admit, I have a purple bedroom. But I still think this is tacky. I have dark plum curtains and bedspread with barely lavender walls, but everything else in the room is black or gray. The colors are darker and muted. This looks like Barney the dinosaur on crack. Purple is a nice color. It's the way it clashes with the style of the house and the color of the furniture that made me recoil. Tacky style. Furthermore, other people think that Robin Brown's sense of style is tacky. Furthermore, they can't believe that Janelle Brown has lived sparingly when compared to the mansion. There, her, her style is so tacky. Those rock sinks are wild. All those different purples look awful. The art above doors and windows is weird. The different mirrors in the bathroom drives me crazy. The curtains in the bedroom look like shower curtains. There's not one thing in that entire house that I would even want to steal if I had the opportunity. It's crazy to think of Janelle especially, and to a lesser extent with Christine when she was married to him. Janelle's house was pretty sparse. It had what it needed and not much more. This place, besides being an abomination just imagine the cost in this room alone to find and buy the purple couch, rug, curtains, paint, all that new artwork. And in the rest of the house. All the knickknacks everywhere. I'd be so beyond enraged if I was another wife and they were just pissing money straight down the toilet while Janelle rented a tiny apartment and Christine had a modest house. What do you think about Robin Brown's style choices? Do you think she likes her space? Do you believe interior design's beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Are you looking forward to seeing the new season of Sister Wives? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Today's next update, Christine Brown sends heartfelt message to the lost of followers. Sister Wives star Christine Brown Woolley is sending out a heartfelt message to all of her lost followers. She has always aimed to inspire the fans who watch her social media closely. Her story is very special and she does not take that lightly. Now, she is speaking up and out. So, what is the mother of six saying? Keep reading for more details. Christine Brown sends heartfelt message to the lost followers. It was not an easy road for Christine Brown Woolley. She was the third wife of Cody Brown and it was very clear he was not attracted to her. That was always an issue between the couple yet she took amazing care of him and the family therefore that helped him form a love for her. Moreover, she always put his needs before hers which eventually became too much for her and Christine was worn out. She was raising 13 children between three wives as well as catering to Cody. Finally, she took her power somewhat back and fourth wife, Robin Brown was there to pick up the pieces. She became more independent while Cody favored Robin and her five children. This did not sit well with Christine and then, he withdrew intimacy from their marriage. She decided to leave the plural family, Flagstaff, and move back to Utah where she met David Woolley who she married in October 2023. Now, with season 19 of Sister Wives on the horizon, Christine has a strong message for her lost of followers. She is letting them know she once let fear hold her back, but eventually, she broke free. Christine Brown Woolley has been trapped and admits that she did not think there was any way out. It seems that she wants to be there as a role model and inspiration for all of the women who do not believe that they can find their power. This is perfect for her as Cody tried to gaslight her into staying, claiming men would just use her and take her for all she was worth. She proved him wrong. Doing an amazing job. After seeing this video and inspirational message, Christine Brown Woolley's followers loved what she had to say. More so, they did not want her to stop and to keep up the good work. Never stop talking about this. You will always help someone with your story. The way I needed to hear this today. Thank you. You are inspiring. Thank you, Christine. Well done on getting out, Christine. I wished it for you for so long. You were so undervalued. It's great to see you finally happy and appreciated. Many felt that she was speaking directly to them and that it was timed for what they were going through at the moment. Hopefully, Christine can continue to stay strong and keep up the positive messages. What did you think of her words? Today's next update. Robin's decor cost a fortune but called gaudy. Sister Wives star Robin Brown's hobby must have cost her a small fortune, as the prices for some of her pieces in her vast collection surfaced today. Now, with her house on the market, her decor jumps out at you in the real estate listing. And they scream dollar signs. Despite the high price, her pieces of artwork are under fire for looking tacky. 
Fans think the cost is outrageous and despite the cost, they believe they still look like dollar store buys. Plus, she seems to have more than a dozen around her house. Sister Wives Robin Brown's Expensive Art Collection The only remaining wife from Sister Wives's polygamous marriage has paintings on her walls that are under heavy fire by fans today. The artwork seems to suggest an influence of the famous artist, Salvador Dali. Robin Brown's walls are filled with surrealist art, where Dali's paintings would fit right in. One of his well-known works, the 1931 painting, The Persistence of Memory, would look right at home on Robin Brown's wall. But Robin's art collection comes from contemporary artists. Still, this sister wife celeb's hobby is costly, as the pieces on her wall fetch thousands from online galleries. Her framed print of Uborn on the Ocean is priced at $1,800 from an online gallery. She also has the print Matrix of Love on her wall. That goes for $2,380 unframed. Once you eye her decor in the home's listing photos, you realize she's got a lot of them. But even if the cost suggests elegance, the Sister Wives fans still see her choice of artwork as an insult on the eyes. Robin and Cody spend beyond their means. Robin Brown and Cody Brown are a couple who spend beyond their means. This is what Cody and Christine Brown's adult daughter Gwendolyn Brown revealed a while back. Gwen possibly included Robin's hobby in her thoughts at the time. The print below hangs in Robin Brown and Cody Brown's house. It is called Romantic Stroll and is listed for $2,500 on an online gallery. So, all these expensive prints might be some of what Gwen had in mind when offering her critique concerning their spending. Sister Wives viewers will see Janelle Brown struggling to get her money out of Coyote Pass in season 19. So, it looks like money's tight for Cody and Robin. Yet, they own lavishly priced pieces of art. Then Mary Brown didn't see her share of Coyote Pass as fair. But yet, Cody and Robin look to have amassed a small fortune in artwork. Sister Wives, expensive hobby for someone without a job? Robin Brown was the only wife who didn't seem to work through the decades of Sister Wives seasons. So, fans suggest Robin built herself an expensive collection with the money the other wives pooled from their careers. But what makes it even more intriguing for the Sister Wives fans is what Cody and Robin must have shelled out for the large number of art prints on their walls. This doesn't sound like table scraps for Robin Brown, as Cody Brown once famously said on the TLC series. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.